Every Friday night, the far right takes over downtown Chemnitz. It started in August, when a German man was stabbed to death here. The alleged killers were two refugees from Iraq and Syria. Since then, protesters have returned every week. We came here to understand why there's so much anger and to see how the rise of the far right is disrupting the liberal values that have defined Germany for decades. Chemnitz is a city of about 250,000 people. Foreigners make up only 8% of the population. And yet it's here that the far right is turning a simmering anger into real violence. Shortly after we arrived, we learned of an attack on a Persian restaurant. That's a swastika in red spray paint. We met the owner, Masood Hashemi, recovering in a local hospital. Ich habe gehört, hi oder hi Hitler, weiß ich nicht genau, aber Hand ist gemacht oben. Ich verstehe. Mein Bauch ist kaputt und mein Links ist Problem. Aber das ist egal. Mein Herz ist kaputt. Ich bin sehr, sehr traurig. Masoud moved to Germany five years ago, before the wave of migrants. In 2015, Chancellor Angela Merkel welcomed in hundreds of thousands from war torn countries. The world hailed Germany as a leading force for good. But at home, the decision became a rallying point for the far right. It divided the country and has drained Merkel of her power. She announced recently that she will not seek re-election. Meanwhile, a far-right party is the main voice of opposition in parliament. Suddenly, Germany's role as the defender of a liberal, tolerant Europe is in question. Migrant arrivals have dropped off dramatically since 2015, but some people still struggle with the memory of that time. Die Menschen hier in unserer Gegend wurden Zeuge der unbegrenzten Massen, der unkontrollierten Masseneinwanderung. Hier sind täglich Zehntausende Menschen angekommen, die mussten untergebracht werden in Turnhallen. Das waren zum Teil chaotische Zustände und diese Bilder haben die Menschen hier immer noch im Kopf. Katrin Ebner Steiner ist from Degendorf, a wealthy town near the Austrian border. We met her there while she was campaigning for a seat in the Bavarian State Parliament. Ebner Steiner's bid was built on that growing sense of unease towards foreigners. She represents the Alternative for Germany, a far-right party also known here as the AFD. The AFD has only been around for five years, but it's already achieved stunning success with a central message. Foreigners don't belong here, and Islam is alien to Germany. Was wir dagegen ablehnen, sind Kopftücher in Schulen oder äh, das Tragen der Burkas. Wir wollen auch zum Beispiel, äh, dass der Islam keine Rolle in Schulen spielt. For Ebner Steiner, the message is working. She won her race a few days after our interview. Heute versammelt haben. Wir Deutschen, also unser Volk, sind das einzige Volk der Welt, das sich ein Denkmal der Schande in das Herz seiner Hauptstadt pflanzt. That's Björn Hucke, an AFD politician. He's talking about the Holocaust Memorial in Berlin. Breaking taboos like that keeps the AFD in the spotlight. We talked to Franziska Schreiber, a former member of the AFD. After four years of backing the party's inflammatory speech, she left. It felt like a lot of politicians in the AFD 
would just say provocative things to get that level of support. Äh, Sachen, die man vorher in Deutschland nicht hätte sagen können, werden mittlerweile salonfähig und die Leute äh, auf der Straße radikalisieren sich immer weiter und das ist ein großes Problem, weil die Partei kann das nicht wieder zurücknehmen. Sie kriegt den Geist nicht wieder in die Flasche. So are extremists now feeling emboldened? We decided to ask them. I guess I'm curious, who, who designs the t-shirts? First, the shirts are in my brain. So you're writing most of these phrases, yes? Yeah. Okay. Tommy Frank owns a gift shop and inn called the Golden Lion. Tommy insists anyone is welcome here. But he created this inn for a minority of like-minded people. People who dismiss mainstream politics. But they tell us that the AFD's success has energized them. Durch die AFD natürlich auch, die ich als Sprungbrett sehe, meiner Meinung nach immer nach, ähm, wird dieses salonfähig vielleicht national wieder zu denken. The AFD is now Germany's third largest party. But many are coming forward to confront the far right. The divisions are visible in the streets. And the next few months could be crucial in determining how this struggle plays out. Whether the far right vision will stay at the edge of German society or pull the center along with it.